Okay. I'm gonna try to hold it. <clears throat> so if it gets oh my ring <laughs> I left my ring in the bathroom. I was like, wait, where's my ring? Um I'm gonna try to hold the phone. Um so if it's a little shaky I apologize. I just not I was just using the camera to look at myself in the phone. My hair is getting longer. I'm gonna go next week to get it trimmed. Cause my hair is real thick. So as it grows out, um, and it grows fast. I mean, I've grown more than a half an inch in about three weeks. Um, but as it grows out, it starts to get puffy. So I need to have it, have it newtoned up. Anyway, um, aside from the fact that I'll bring this in closer and you can see all my wrinkles and my the bags under my eyes from being tired. Um, I'm going to try to go without the wax today for a little while to see if it irritates my the inside of my lip because they removed a lot of the stitches and um, I'm going to try to show there's wires the bite guard is all plastic there's a piece of it missing here it's um it was broken I can feel the sharp edge because I don't know if they broke it when they were installing it uh, but it's been missing since I woke up from surgery <laughs> I didn't do anything while I was asleep, I hope. Anyway, um, how the elastics? The bite, I can't, I don't think I can show it. I can't show it and look. Anyway, it's a, it's a thick piece of plastic. There's grooves in it because it runs along the bottom of my teeth. And then there's grooves. I don't know if it's, um, actually molded to fit teeth or if it's ever it just feels like that as I drool everywhere um but it feels like uh like it's got spaces for my bottom tooth to fit into it it's got see that there's like a thin wire there along the thing and they they loop over the brackets and try not to spit on the camera because with the bites fun as I talk this bit kind of pools in the white splint and then it comes out and it's gross and I apologize because it's but I can't I can't really help it uh, and then there's thicker wires twisted here here and then on along the side and those are holding um, holding it tight so these are like to help them fit it on then they tighten it with the, the other wires I guess kind of like securing it um, it goes all the way back to, um, I believe that the back molars are free from the bite splint. Uh, it goes behind the teeth to, um, just, I want to say, Yeah, that's attractive. It goes back about that far, but it's curved up because it's smooth. Um, so like if I, I can't put my tongue behind my teeth, which is, I mean is obvious because I can't pronounce anything correctly. Um, but yeah, so there's a few sentences in here. Uh, there's a space here. Uh, I don't know how, if you can see. The wire was, at, the arch wire was actually cut. Because there were um, springs on the, uh, I'm talking to myself and not to the lens. Uh, there were springs separating this tooth and this tooth to create a space so that when they cut my jaw for the three piece Lafort one, uh, there was room to cut it without damaging the tooth. And then on this side too, here. Now there's still a space in between those teeth and then when I go back for my six week appointment, I'll then go to the orthodontist and he'll replace the arch wire and begin closing the gaps and making sure that everything is where it needs to be to complete my treatment. Uh, what else? Uh, that is like these along here. They're little. <laughs> 
Never in a million years would I think that I would be filming myself drooling everywhere. Um, or with like, I mean, I have mascara on, but that's really just to get my eyelashes out of my eye. Uh, oh yeah, those little hooks are clamped over the arch wire. And that's what the surgeon used to, um, to, to, uh, line up my jaw for surgery and, and for the bite splint and then to, um, to keep everything closed during the first week. Um, the, the bags are lovely. <laughs> uh, I bit my lip a little bit, which, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't remember biting it, so I think that I was probably doing that while I was sleeping. Um, what else? Yeah, so I have the elastics there. Now, here's a, that one is a bracket that I lost. I didn't lose it, though. It's in my bathroom. I'll, um, I'll see the orthodontist next week and have him fix that, because the bottom is pretty much healed. There is, that is stitches from where, um, when they went to stitch, when they went to stitch me up, there was a blood clot, and they put this little tube in there, and, um, when I woke up, that tube was hanging out of my mouth, which, you know, I was like, hey, what the hell is this? And there was like a, um, it looked like the end of a turkey baster, or a, um, like the old, the old school blood pressure cups with the, the little thing you squeeze. It looked like that. And, um, but I don't, I don't actually remember because I wasn't actually paying attention. And I mean, you wake up after an anesthesia and you're like, hey, well, you know, you're not really focused on that. You're focused on, um, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. I can't really talk. I have to go to the bathroom. You're focusing on that stuff. Anyway, so that's, those stitches, that's what that is on my, on my lower gums. My upper gums, I can't really feel anything when I'm touching it, so when I brush my teeth, I have to be very careful. Um, I can brush the gums, but I don't want to overbrush them because I won't know if I hurt it. Um, I apologize for shaking this. Uh, so yeah, so I have to brush carefully. Um, and then I still use, I use an angle tip syringe and I squirt uh, the mouth rinse along there. Um, I do rinse, but because I can't really swirl it, like, I can't really do do that very well, especially with the hooks and the, and the wires in the front. So, um, because of that, I use the syringe to make sure that I squeeze some of the mouthwash in there after I brush, just in case. And, uh, and then I put the wax on. I haven't put wax on today, though. Hmm. Anyway, I know that a lot of people, when they're going, well, what's the vice splint? What is it? And it's hard. It's hard, like, um, like, it feels like plastic. It's light, though. I can't tell if it's white or clear. Probably both. But it's, um, it's designed to fit underneath the teeth. There's a slight edge, um, like, let me see that. I don't know if I can show it. Yeah, there's a slight edge. It's it's really, it's really fine. Like, um, if I had to guess, I would say probably about a millimeter. Maybe a little bit more. But it's like a lip edge that, uh, it like hooks under the tooth. And then, um, it secures with those wires all along. Um, other than uncomfortable, it's not, well, it's not even really uncomfortable, it's just awkward. But I'm still doing that, that, like, suction thing, which kind of scares the crap out of me. But this, the staff surgeon said that that's just me adjusting to my new bite, which may explain why it just happened recently. Anyway, this is already too long, so I'll post this one, but... I just wanted to show, because I don't have the, the wax on, so I could show everything. At least a little bit. And then the missing bracket. It's not missing, I have it, but it'll go back on next week. 